Yo, what's up again? Um, hope you're doing well. Today you will learn how to do something like this. I would call it a vegetation river flowing kind of animation. I saw this on social media and I wanted to recreate this in Blender. And I think the video that I saw was done in Houdini or uh, Cinema 4D. But I wanted to recreate this in Blender and show it to you guys. So let's check out the scene. It's very basic, just a background plane, a ground plane and some, some photo scanned assets. So let me hide everything and then let's add the object step by step again. So at first I added a background plane, just a plane scale up and rotate on the X axis. Then I added a cube and I scaled it up and scaled it down again on the Z axis so that it imitates a plane. But um, I found out that a cube works better with the collision simulations of particles in Blender. So let's add a collision modifier to your cube which acts as your ground plane. After that just add a sphere to your scene. Don't get confused, let's hide the particle system here. And this is our emitter object. So this is where our vegetation objects will be emitted from. Next step to do is add a particle system to your sphere. Then if you want to add some collision objects to your scene, in my case there are some rocks, and give both of them a collision modifier. And make sure to set your dampening value to 1 on both objects and also on the ground plane because we don't want any particles to bounce around and bounce off of our objects. Let's go back to our sphere, which only got a particle system on it. So, so I want about 7000 particles to emit from our sphere. Set the lifetime of the particles to your scene length and then go down to the physics tab. And usually this is set to Newton or Newton, but we will change it to fluid. So this will give us a fluid like emitting style of our particles. And play around with the mass if you want to. And then just copy my settings if you want the same result as mine. The most important values to play around with is the stiffness, the viscosity and the, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but if you turn, for example, turn down the stiffness completely, as you can see, this gives us a very loose um, style of simulation. As you can see, the particles are spreading out like crazy. There is no force that um, keeping those particles together. So make sure to add a small amount of stiffness like 0.5 or something. If you go too high the whole thing will explode as you can see here. I drag the buoyancy a little bit. Um, this is the force that makes objects float on water or dive into water and give them the ability to go back up and float on the surface. So if you turn this up a little bit as I did, this gives us a smoother result all in all. So the only thing that you have to do now is under the render tab in the particle system, um, just change the render as button from halo to object or collection. In my case, I created a small collection of different plants and grasses. So um, I got two different grasses and a flower. So under instance objects, um, select your object or your collection. What you have to do to make the result more realistic is change the um, rotation of the particles. So again in the particles tab check the rotation and set the orientational axis to velocity here and uh, randomize it to get a uh, different rotation for each particle. So the last step to do is bake the particle simulation um, to make sure that everything works without glitches. And then just hit the render button and enjoy your result I think. One thing I forgot to mention is that if your particle scale is a little bit too high, you can also get this kind of explosions and glitches and stuff. So make sure to set your particle scale a relative low number, just like I did here. You can also play around with the scale randomness a little bit, but also don't go too high to avoid glitches and uncontrollable uncontrollable particle movements. So again, smaller numbers give better results. And after that, to make everything visible again, scale your plans up and apply the scale if you have to. Um, if you get any questions, just leave a comment or um, write me a DM on Instagram. A few of you already did that. Um, I'm always here to help, so reach out and don't give up with your projects and never stop blending, never stop being creative. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye.